<clears throat> hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of uh, I Spin the Wheel and uh, Land on the Car. And I'm just gonna. I'm gonna actually shuffle the names. So it'll randomize it a little more here. So let's spin it. Let's see what we get, folks. Ah. The stretch. Okay. Okay. All right. Sick. Okay then. What are we talking about? The uh, the stretch, the limousine, a classic vehicle. Sick. Pull. Shut up, Rick. Come on, out of the way. Stay away from me. Two thousand and one Dun Driven Stretch. It's an admiral, but it's Okay, folks, today I'm going to do a parody of Smash Mouth's Now I'm a Believer from the movie Shrek. Now, fun fact, you might not know this, but Smash Mouth didn't make that song. I forget who made it, but it was like a song from the 60s, so there you go. <clears throat> and then I saw the stretch. Now I'm a believer. I don't mean to flex, and I don't mind. I'm a believer, I couldn't leave this review if I tried. That was, uh, that was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty alright. 2001 Dun Dreary Stretch, the fourth generation of a car that exists for nearly all the games. But how does it compare to its normal Admiral counterpart, and how does it drive? handle, and perform. We'll discover all the information in this episode of Regular Car Reviews, Liberty City. One quick side note before we get underway. I did want to cover its benefactor Shafter-based cousin, the Stretch E, but apparently it only spawns during one particular mission during the Battle of Gatoni DLC, and it's a mission that's fairly deep into the story, and I didn't really have a time to get to that point. I've actually never played uh, that much of the Battle of Tony, so, you know. <laughs> you call yourself a GTA player, as You've never played Battle of Tony? Look, listen. Look here! Look, listen! <laughs> um, look, I just, I don't know, I never got around to it, I guess. i have definitely got around to it, I don't know, one of these days. Anyway, the point is, I never had a chance to record it. Essentially, it's just a longer wheelbase version of the Ender Shatter. Now, I'm fairly certain it has the same performance and remains relatively the same as the normal chapter. Anyway, back on topic to the stretch. The stretch has existed since the very first 3D Universe game, GTA 3, and in most titles, it was essentially a lengthy wheel based model of, the, of an existing car. In GTA 3 and LCS, it was a longer limousine version of the simple. In Vice City and Vice City Stories, it was a limo version of the Admiral. There was also a special variant owned by the band featured in Vice City, Love Fist, called simply Love Fist. Yeah, real original, guys. Would have been funnier to call it The Fister. Heh, <laughs> because uh, it's the band's name and it's long and. Yeah, I'll just stop right there. To be fair, though, that joke I did lines up somewhat on par with the level of humor Rockstar Rogers had at the time of making Vice City because, uh, haha, -ha, sex joke's funny, so, you know, I'm just saying, guys, that's about, you know, I'm on the same level of 2002 Rockstar writers, you know. The last model was the one featured in San Andreas, which combined the looks of the premiere and the elegant. Which, to be honest, side by side, they do look very similar to one another. Finally, today, we reach GT4 with the model featured today. It is a limousine version of the Admiral, just like from Vice City, and features decorative lights, two interior televisions, and much more I'll mention in a bit. Since the stretch is primarily based on the Admiral, I won't discuss too much on its real life counterpart, as I already did in my Admiral episode, which I will definitely link in the title card on the top right. The stretch is based on a third-generation Mercury Grand Marquise. Marquis? Marquise. While there was never a limousine based solely on the Grand Marquise, 
there was one based on the Lincoln Town Car, which shares the same body platform, known as the Panther Body, which shared car platforms such as the Ford Crown Victoria and Police Interceptor, and the Mercury Marauder, the cream of the crop of the Panther Bodies. Okay, so I'm going to talk about so many differences between the Stretch and the Admiral. The Stretch, naturally, has a different badge on the rear and front quarter panels. The name itself on the badging is spaced out to let you know that this thing is indeed long. It also features a slightly different spoked wheels. While the design of the wheels both look relatively the same, the Stretch has fewer spokes in the Admiral. I also noticed the fitment for the wheels are a bit, um, wonky on the Stretch. The wheels are... How do I say it? Re recessed behind the wheel arches. I'd say you need some to add some wheel spacers in there to get proper fitment, but perhaps there's some legitimate reason this is like that. I'm not sure. The Stretch lacks the Dundreary logo from the rear plate holder, and while the Admiral features one of those electric retractable antennas that were very popular in the 90s on most cars, and also very prone to braking, the Stretch has two static antennas and one of those old boomerang antennas from, you know, the 80s that all the limousines had. I did not know it was an antenna until today. I thought it was a spoiler, or just like a ornament for show. Now you know something. I'm pretty sure one of those antennas is for the radio, one is for, the C for some kind of CB radio or something, and the boomerang antenna, it's obviously for the televisions inside. I mean, that's what I think. Maybe the stretch gets over the air television. We don't know that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I wrote the script before I found this out, but apparently the boomerang antenna on the back of a limousine is actually a TV antenna. I didn't know that. So while looking up those two pictures you just saw of the old Cadillac with the with the uh, antenna, that is actually a TV antenna. You can actually, well, back in the day you could watch over the air television. Uh, but now that everything's digital, it's kind of hard to do that, so, but that's pretty cool, actually. You can, you know, watch Channel 6 from the comfort of your limousine. That's pretty epic. Popping the hood here, and the Stretch shares the same high displacement V8 as the Admiral. Not really much to see here. It is rear drive like the Admiral, and is coupled to a 5-speed gearbox. So, yeah, there's not much to see here, no badging, no nothing. It's basically the same car oh boy <laughs> here comes the fun stuff handling and performance oh it feels pretty close to the admiral in, in the sense of acceleration handling is a completely different ballpark being a relatively long vehicle it is naturally a pain to maneuver in well sharp corners really any corner at any speed but to the stairs the same V8 from the Admiral, drifts and power slides are much more obtainable due to the weight distribution and the sheer length of the car. While it understeers hard and cornering, it can be a relative blast to drive, especially in this clip where I attempt to recreate a neutral drop video. By the way, shout out to my fellow neutral drop droppers out there. What you got? come out quite as good as I thought it would but you know what you know what folks I think it came out pretty good folks it would have been cool like if I actually got uh, cameraman to narrate the clip that would have been actually kind of cool but I didn't have the time and uh, I'm sure he's busy with other stuff so but, but hey maybe maybe I'll reach out to the dude like hey hey cameraman I want you to narrate a clip of me doing neutral drops in GTA 4 <laughs> He's like, is this one of the video games you guys play? Oh, jeez. Nah, but he's a they're, they're, cameraman, stuntman, junkman, bluntman. They're all cool. 
they are they are pretty cool. Despite being a limo, it can only see four people in GTA 4, while in 5, it can see six. Though to be fair, I really don't like the design of the limo in that game. 2001 done dreary stretch. Hey, someone's gonna need a ride to their wedding, am I right, folks? Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Where do you get to see it? You get to see it right here, folks. Alright, anyway. <laughs> that was like my best uh, cameraman impression. Where do you get to see it, folks? We got cameraman over here, folks! Anyway. Uh, yeah, you guys should check out Neutral Drop. There are a bunch of cool dudes. Uh, before you think, oh, why are they destroying these cars? Look, they work at the junkyard and whatever cars they can't sell or scrap. Whatever. They basically beat on them, you know, and uh, do a neutral drop. We do a neutral drop. We do a no mercy reverse here, yeah, folks. You know, uh, I watched them probably way too much. That's probably how I've been able to mimic the accent. But my friends are like, yo, dude, you're not as funny as them. Shut up. So, yeah, um, we do, we do a little bit of, we do a little bit of neutral drop here, folks. Anyway, <laughs> I just like talking like that. It's, you gotta make it sound like you smoke seven packs of cigarettes, though. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I had, a, I actually had a lot more fun than I thought driving this thing, honestly. Um, I, I had a lot of fun just making it slide and just general hooligan stuff with this car I'm, I'll be honest so it was a blast uh, I'm should be coming out with a new my summer car episode soon I'm gonna try to get a new headset probably sometime this week so uh, until next time I will see you all in the next one have a great week everybody